it's coming. Anyway, uh, I miss you guys a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I miss you guys so much. I miss dancing around, I miss worshiping with you, and being up at 3 a.m. praying on Fridays, all that wonderful stuff. Anyway, um, guys, wanted to thank you for your support in my life that you've given me. Anytime that I'm like, hey guys, I'm gonna go do this thing. Uh, will you help me? You guys always step up to the plate. And I really appreciate that. And I say that in light of Japan, because I haven't, I wasn't able to come back and be like, this is what happened, it was so crazy, it was great. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that here, as well as tell you about future plans for Japan. Um, and my wife is at work, otherwise she would be here with me. Um, but anyway, going to Japan, the first time was more of a expedition, like fact-finding trip. Let me absorb culture shock. Let me see what it's like. Lord said go, so I'm just going to go and see what happened. And you guys backed me up on that. You are able to help me out in getting my return ticket, which uh, solidified my trip to going. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, like I was able to help the couple I stayed with. And I was able to go to Tokyo, and, and, and God totally set that up. I met a, a guy, a Christian, and he dances. Um, does hip hop dance and uh, got to teach a lesson, do a workshop out there. I got to go up to Niigata and meet uh, a pastor, a Japanese pastor, um, and his family, the Suchia family. Um, and yeah, just got to learn a lot of different things that you partially learn here, like from studying, but also that you can only learn about being there, which was really good. Like, um, if you haven't seen any of the videos, I encourage you to check them out um, just so you can see what it was like or a little taste of what it was like while I was there. Anyway, um, going forward, what I would like to do actually is uh, next year, um, me and my wife are trying to go to Japan again. Um, we've been really trying to pray and consult with the Lord and here lately I've just been feeling a little bit more of a man, get after it. like start 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 preparing to go um for japan and i've been hesitant because of you know life circumstances and finances and will we even be able to go etc cetera, etc cetera. like i lost my passport you know just random things that can cause our mind to just what not pay attention um but i've been feeling like get on it so i wanted to make this video and just let you guys know what i'm going to be doing and then put it in your hands to to either join me and pray in prayer, coming with us, um, uh, giving us advice, finances, whatever, like whatever the Lord presses on your heart. Um, but yeah, so what it's going to look like basically is doing what I want, well, show and tell, basically. You go to school in elementary school, you do show and tell, you bring something you like and everybody sees it and then you're telling them about it and all that stuff. Um, we're gonna put a small twist on it where it's just like a show and then we tell the gospel um, But the name of it is obviously gonna be you know show and tell um, And so of course I'm looking at a more artistic Type of mission, but even still like going out and doing ministry at the same time Whereas last trip was more of a let me just help you out and be an extra hand on deck um, For the church that I was there with this time around. It's gonna be a little bit more uh, aggressive in the sense of getting out and going and doing ministry or experiencing Japan and, and doing things like that. Um, the idea is to do it in three cities. Um, the Tokyo city that I was in, the um, Tokyo in Tokyo um, with JP and hopefully in Niigata, just to revisit those places, kind of show my face and whoever else's faces that comes with me. Um, and again, the main point basically overall is to continue to go to Japan until we feel the Lord pulling us to saying it's time to move, it's time to go ahead and go. Um, and so with this trip in specific, I would just really like to do a little bit more uh, stepping out ministry where it's like, okay, we, we, we actually going to go do stuff and experience Japan. It's not just, just one-sided. Um, in saying all of that, you know, things cost money, things need prayer. Uh, ideas and visions need people that will, will back them up, that will come and, and, and labor with me. Um, ideas and visions also need people that are willing to give advice. Um, we need the body of Christ, basically, and all the gifts that are there inside of it. And so uh, you guys are always my go-to because you've always been there for me. Whenever, I'm, whenever I feel like the Lord is saying, hey, 
go do this or go do that or go on this adventure. Um, you guys have never failed in, in, in prayer or giving advice or just like cheering me on or giving finances. There's always been some type of encouragement from you guys. So I'm just asking the same thing in whatever manner that is. Um, and I know you could be sitting there watching this being like, no, that's not for me or yeah, I'm going or whatever, whatever. But I really encourage you to take like maybe a week or so and just sit on it, pray with the Lord, like talk to him like, hey, what are you thinking? And then whatever he says from there, do it whether that's hey that extra five dollars you got put that aside for this mission or hey that talent you got go ahead try to get on this thing and go so you can use it there to reach people for christ um or maybe that's hey you know you've gone to japan or you've gone on missions a lot you set up stuff give this guy some advice or you know hey just pray every month every week every day every hour whatever um whatever the lord presses on your heart whatever your giftings are that can help this happen um Hey, I'm asking for that because anything is help. Nothing isn't help. <laughs> um, so with all that being said, like, honestly, it's all in the Lord's hands. We can make plans. We can feel certain things. Um, and that's why I'm encouraging such, like, pushing that take a week and just, like, sit on it. If it ain't on your mind a week later, it ain't burning on your heart to do something, it's cool. Don't worry about it. You're good in my eyes. I don't want you doing something out of your own. I want you to do something that God is fine together. That way, at the end of the day, we can be like, man, God did this. I just, I just agreed. And that's what I want, like, because that's the only way that I feel like I'm going to be able to see God's fruit, that God's plan unveiled, if he's the one doing it. Um, so, yeah, and, like, of course, us playing our parts. Other than that, man, I miss you guys. I miss dancing, jumping around. Um, I miss all of the, the growth that I was seeing while I was at Boom. And I miss Tuesday nights. I miss Fuse. Um, I miss. I miss it all. I miss hanging out with you guys. I miss cleaning up. I miss Park Team, Park Squad. Yeah, hope y'all still out there directing cars, helping people park. You know, hope y'all still doing that. If they need help, get out there and park, man. Ain't nobody too big to park. You can park. You can tell the car to go over here, park there. You can do it. Anyway, um, that's enough on that one. Uh, I guess that's it. I'm just kind of spending more time because I want to hang out with you guys a little more. Nah, I'll let you guys go. Pastor Frank probably got a good message. Maybe see that church. You probably sitting there watching this on Facebook. Hmm. Either way, I love you guys. Again, pray on it. Show and tell, Japan, let's do it. Uh, oh, the dates, dates are unsure. It'll probably be somewhere in July, or ju uh, June or July. My bad, I meant to mention that. June or July, hopefully. Um, if not, man, hey, you know, just buy you some Kiko, man, soy sauce, and then write on there, pray for Kelly. And every time you use it, every time you see it, just pray for me. Thank you.